All right, so we are now back at the bottom at the sandbar where we lowered the boat to. You take a moment to look through your possessions. Suddenly you realize that the fishing line is not among them. Obviously, because it's hanging here. So take the fishing line and attach it to the boat. If you don't understand why, you soon will. We are nearing our end. We are nearing the end of our adventure here, folks. Folks, as Togoth likes to say, already folks. He's a cute guy, isn't he? We'll talk to him later. Now, what you want to do is take your chargers. Well, first thing. First thing you want to do is you take the wire detonators, attach them to the charges, and make bombs. Now once you have the bomb, we're going to stuff one bomb in the chicken. And in a fit of frustration, you jam a bomb into the chicken's ass. Alright, now we have a ass bomb chicken, chicken bomb ass, or whatever you want to call it. Now with the other bomb, we are going to place it here. Hold on, just checking a few things out, making sure I have everything in order. Take the timer module and don't put it on the chicken bomb, put it on the other bomb. I'm just being a retard here, trying to figure it out. You have to remember it's been a decade since I played any of these games. No, you numbskull. Put the fucking timer module on the regular bomb. There you go. You hook the timer module onto the end of the bomb and wire it to the detonator. This should now function as a crude time bomb once you activate the timer module. So, now we're going to take the time bomb, not the chicken bomb, and we're going to set it here. You carefully place the time bomb on the small ledge in front of the window. You set the timer for five minutes, just enough to get the fuck out of Dodge. Now it is time to haul ass. Back to where we initially hooked up, initially hooked up the uh, the fishing line. would be South Maintenance Elevator. If you actually check out the map there you'll notice that the bomb was set in the north. 
most northern point of the city and now we are traveling to the most southern point so that kind of makes sense which is cool because you don't want to be anywhere near that explosion And we will hurry on up the elevator here. Because the city's about to go boom boom. Rex obviously has no emotions whatsoever because hundreds, thousands, who knows? Many, many people are about to perish. And also, we can get a fucking vase. But that vase is worth 75,000 Galactars, which is quite a lot of money. That will set me up for a year or two at least. Boom shakalaka! And we flood the city. Now, by taking the fishing line, we can pull the boat that we attached to earlier over to us and hop on in. Oh shit, it's that sea monster! Guess what, fucker? I got a pre made food bomb for you. Throw the chicken bomb in his mouth. Boom! Great! Did you see that? That monster certainly won't be bothering you anymore. You wipe the lymph node from your cheek. Laugh. And continue northward. You sea monster shithead. Nobody fucks with Rex Nebular. Alright, make sure you take this glass bottle here in the water. We have a homage to the Indiana Jones movie coming up here. And you need to fill the bottle half full to get the correct amount of weight. At last, after all you've been through, you finally have your hands on Colonel Stone's precious vase. The many possible uses for 75,000 Galactors flash through your head. A new ship. Lolita. A lifetime supply of firewood. Lolita. Who the fuck is Lolita? All right, we are looking for the first teleporter in need of minor adjustment, which in this case is 9099. <laughs> And here we are, the control station for all the sh planetary ships that will get us off this island. There's our ship. Or what's soon to be our ship, anyways. Whoa! That poor little land mammal got stuck in the Gravitron. <laughs> 